Hey guys, Chris from Midwest Bass Hunter. If you can see the snow is starting to melt, starting to get some grass showing. Uh, we got a big soggy mess up here. Uh, hopefully uh, things will start to thaw out really, really soon here. We've uh, we've got some good temperatures. I'm outside in a t-shirt. It's really nice. It's supposed to be in the 50s all week. So hopefully it will start to melt that uh, lake ice. So just dying to get out and do some open water fishing. So you know when that happens, you get stir crazy. You go out and you start cruising the bait shops, any store that's got a fishing aisle, you're in that aisle. And that's kind of what I've been doing. So I picked up a few things. I just want to show you what that stuff is that I bought today. All right, bass hunters, let's see what we picked up. All right, so from Big Bite Baits, we got some stick baits. I don't know what they call them. These were a special assortment pack. And I'll kind of tell you a little bit about these here. I got a pretty good deal on these. So just your typical stick bait. Got a little uh, recessed area for your hook. Uh, I love to fish these wacky, wacky rigged. Or uh, you can fish them a lot of different ways. Fish them Texas rig or whatever. So these are five packs. And remember I was telling you about just going through different stores. And I was actually walking through a hardware store. And they had these five packs of these for $1. So I'm like, man, i got to pick some of those up. So I went ahead and picked a bunch of them up. It's kind of a blue and black color there. Uh, like a green flat with the metal flake in it. This is like a brown with metal flag, watermelon, red flag chartreuse tail, and this is brown and black here. So these are awesome for a dollar. I couldn't pass that up. So what I pick up? One, two, three, four, five, six. Six of them. Next thing up, and this I actually I won these in a giveaway. So this natural forage baits, and the giveaway was not from natural forage baits. It was from. My buddy LT, Lance Tyree, LT Jigs. So he makes these custom jigs and these are awesome. So like I said, I didn't I didn't actually buy these. I want them in a giveaway, but he makes these jigs, uh, I don't know, in his basement or his garage or something. This guy uh, from Texas, he can make some nice jigs. Hand tied skirts and um, just great jigs. This is one example. There's there's another black and blue football head jig. And also have some uh, some Ned heads there. So got all those from Lance Tyree. I will put a link in the description of this video uh, for his Instagram page and his Facebook page and stuff. You can buy uh, jigs from him and they're really, really uh, inexpensive. So you get them from LT for like three or four bucks. So a lot a lot better deal then we got he threw in these from natural forage baits so he does some work with natural forage baits and so here's some neds to go with the ned rigs or the ned jigs that's a good looking little bait there a couple other ones white and silver fleck not for human consumption that is important don't eat these um also got these uh, they call it a Mad Craw 3.65, and these look really sweet. I can't wait to throw one of these on one of them LT jigs and uh, start working. And that's something I want to work on this year is uh, my jig fishing. I just, uh, it's not something I do a lot, but I want to really improve on it. So all them jigs from LT will definitely help out. And this is a good looking craw right there. Nice meaty, meaty bait. Some good appendages on there, little claws to bunch of action in the water so i got those in uh, black and blue and then also in the green pumpkin and black green purple black i don't know gpd all right next up i have a spinnerbait now 
I never heard of this brand. I know there's a brand called Dobbins that makes rods. So I don't know if this is the same brand or not. And I actually just saw this bait in a store when I was walking through it. And I thought, well, that's a good looking, good looking spinner bait. So I'm gonna check that thing out. If I can get this thing open. Where I live, I have a lot of clean, clear water. Will blades, light colored spinner baits. Uh, that's one of uh, my go-tos for sure. So I saw this one, it looks pretty good. I like the head design. The jig head design is a little bit different, a little bit more elongated than a lot of different spinner baits. I'm not sure what they use for hooks. Um, do, 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 doesn't say. But it has a little hook keeper, or a little uh, keeper on there for your trailer. Kind of like two barbs there, so you put a little trailer on there and it should stay on there pretty, pretty good. So, nothing too fancy on this one, but spinner baits, always a go-to. Next up, one of the best spring baits, certainly where I'm from, is the lipless crankbait. So I got a few here. I saw these at uh, at a Shields, actually. Actually, my wife saw them, and she's like, ooh, those look nice. She loves fishing with a lipless crankbait, so she picked these three up. And I'm going to open this gold one. It's called a Rip and Shad from Northland Tackle. It rattles them up. Uh, these are two and three quarter inches. It does not say the weight, but they weigh probably half pound or five eighths. And you can hear a bunch of rattles going on in there. This is a good looking bait. Typical uh, lipless crankbait style. I'm not sure what Northland uses for hooks, but I use a lot of Northland lures and their hooks are just fine. So no reason to uh, switch those out. And they actually say you can use this... Uh, for ice fishing as well, just vertically jigging this. So um, it looks like a pretty nice little lure. These ones, now these say glow on them. So I don't know if they glow in the dark. Oh yeah, they do. You can see I just held that up to the light and it glows in the dark. So this could be pretty, this could be pretty cool. Look at that. So I got a couple of those, the glow style. This is a good old fire tiger. And um, yeah, these will be cool to use. I love lipless crankbaits. They work so good in the springtime and they pretty much work all year round too. So never scared to throw a lipless. All right, next I got a couple of top water baits from Lunker Hunt. So I have kind of a love hate relationship with Lunker Hunt. Um, some of their frogs, traditional style frogs they seem to soak up water very quickly so it just kind of is annoying you got to squeeze them all the time to get the water out of them otherwise they just sink they don't float like they're supposed to uh however i did get a prop frog last year and a prop fish now the prop frog i think performs a lot better than the prop fish uh the prop fish the prop doesn't seem to turn that great um but the prop frog works really good so i saw this prop turtle and this is kind of a, honestly, it's kind of a ridiculous lure, but I seen it and I just said, well, I gotta, I gotta have that thing. So I'll probably do a video just on this bait later on, uh, later on this year, uh, when we get warmed up a little bit, but as you can see, it's got, uh, the two prop feet. So when you reel this thing along, those little feet spin around and make a bunch of commotion, kind of like a whopper plopper or any other prop bait. Um, as you can see, it's a pretty neat looking little lure. I mean, uh, for sure this caught me as a fisherman, um, and I'm sure it will catch some fish. We'll see how long it holds up. This right here, this little trailer hook is very important on this bait. Um, like I said, that prop frog that we have, my wife caught uh, several bass on it and almost every one she caught was on the trailer hook. So, uh, it worked really good. And with like different kind of prop frogs like a teckle sprinker frog or a booyah toad runner i've noticed that it's it's sometimes difficult to get good hookups so with this little extra hook back here i think that it will increase the hookup ratio a lot next thing up we've got this uh, yappa frog and once again like i said with the old uh lunker hunt lures I got kind of a love-hate relationship with them because they fill up with water. Now, this isn't one that you really uh, leave stationary. When you just retrieve it, it walks on its own. 
Uh, you don't have to, you know, work it like you would a typical frog. And it kind of simulates a frog that's really flying across the water. Now this, as you can see, it's got like this cupped face to it. And so it's going to walk back and forth when you reel it. Kind of like, uh, oh man, I can't remember what that old lure was. A jitterbug. There's a, a lure called a jitterbug that has this, and it's an old lure. It's got this uh, cup on the front. Now it's made of metal. This is made of rubber. Um, and it's a soft body frog, but, um, you just throw it out there and reel it in. Uh, I like Lunker Hunt actually trimmed the legs on these. They're already trimmed the right amount. See that? So you don't have to trim these. A lot of frogs come with really long uh, legs and then you got to kind of trim them because if you leave them too long, you get a lot of short strikes. I actually have a video on how to do that. I'll leave a little link up here as well for that. So this will be interesting to try. I'm excited to try this. It's a half ounce, so you should be able to chuck it out there a ways. And uh, what, two and a half inches or something like that. Two and a quarter inches long. Bam. Next, we've got some uh, Berkeley hard baits. So Berkeley, in the last few years, has put out a bunch of different hard baits. And um, honestly, I've only got a few of them that I've ever tried. So I saw these, and I picked some up. Some of these... Uh, I got really cheap. These were $3. So anyways, we'll check these out. I Like I said, I haven't used them. I have one lipless crankbait called a War Pig that uh, is an excellent lure. So I thought there's no reason these shouldn't be good as well. One thing I like about these, I don't know how well you'll be able to see it. They write on the bottom what the lure is. So it's a wild thing is what it's called and it dives to 8.5 feet. So you can pick that out of your box and know what you're dealing with and not have to try and guess or figure it out. Although it's a small square bill crankbait, so you figure it's going to go probably not too deep. But I got a couple different ones. This is called a Dredger 25.5. This thing's supposed to go like 25 feet deep or something like that. That is uh, pretty deep. I want to do more deep cranking this year. That's something I haven't done a lot of. So I picked one of these up just to try it out. This is a nice looking bait. It looks really nice. You can see it says on the bottom, just like the other one, dredger, 25.5 feet. So this is made for, for deep cranking. Something I want to do more of when a, the summer hits and it gets really hot and the fish go down deep. And you can see this thing has a really beautiful paint job on it. Got a little rattle inside. And they use their, uh, their own hooks. Uh, what are they called? Berkeley Fusion Hooks. And they're really good, really good hooks. So these babies are sharp as can be. They'll uh, stick you, no problem. So here's another one. It's a Pitbull 5.5, a little square bill. There's a couple here that I'm a little bit excited about. This is a, this is a yellow perch colored. Um, this is called a Cutter 90 shallow. So this is a shallow diving crankbait, or not crankbait, jerkbait. And it has a little bit different um, bill on it. It's a little bit different than your typical jerk bait. But um, these are really excellent looking baits. I'm really stoked about this. I'm gonna move these because it's not it's focusing on those. Um, I got two of these, one in this color and then this other color. These should both work excellent. Not only for bass, but also for walleye. So that's something that Hopefully I can do more, catch more walleye this year. The last thing they have here, and I got two of these as well. Well, it's not the last thing they have. It's the last thing I have from them. This is called a Hijacker 100. And this is like a walking bait. So like a like the old Zara Spook, basically. Um, you throw it out there. You use your rod with slack line. You jerk it around and you get a walking action where your bait walks back and forth. What I heard about this bait is that it is the easiest bait to get to walk back and forth out there. I mean, it's the easiest walking bait. Pretty much, if you move your rod tip with slack line, it's going to walk back and forth. This is a translucent colored one, uh, which is good up here with our, our really clear water that we have. Um, Berkeley Hijacker 100, three hooks on there. I really am excited for top water time to, to hit so I can start fishing with this thing. Nothing better than, than a big bite on a, on a walking top water bait. Sweet. All right, now the last thing I got 
is this. So I got this Fenwick Eagle rod. I won this thing in a raffle. It is a six foot six medium light fast spinning rod. So I'm going on a trout fishing trip. So I picked up this Fluger reel for that, for that reason. This is a size 25. Um, they have different sizes like 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, and so on. The bigger the number, the bigger the, the bigger physically the reel. So I picked this up. This reel is normally like 60 or $70, I think. And I actually got it on sale for 40 bucks. Um, so I'm going to rig this up with some six pound line and I'm going to put it on that Fenwick rod and use it to, uh, go trout fishing next week and hopefully just totally slay the trout with it. Then when I'm done with, uh, the old trout fishing trip, of course I'll use it next year when I go again, but, um, I might use it just to do some, some pan fish for pan fish in the, uh, in the summertime, or I might actually use it just do some real light gear bass fishing, which is always fun. So I've had Fluger reels before. I have some Fluger spinning reels and bait casting reels, and I do like them. So this was kind of an easy choice for me. Um, there's other ones out there, but um, for 40 bucks, this one is, uh, is a pretty good deal. So that is what I picked up. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned. I'm going to use all this stuff when the when the water finally melts. Thanks for watching and make sure you subscribe and hit that little bell so you don't miss anything.